This is DJ Mutati exclusive. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. I've interviewed Makitu so many times, and almost every single time I've interviewed him, he's had nice things to say about you. So it's your chance now to say nice things about him. <laughs> what nice things do you have to say about Makitu? Well, Makitu for me is like. Uh... It's like a template of how a Zambian hip hop artist is supposed to be. So I think I've learned a lot from him. Um, I think people, it's, it's very clear for, for everyone to see. Um, I use him as, um, like, I, I, I learn a lot from his strengths and weaknesses as well. Uh, I, I mostly got, get my style from him, so to say. Oh! Um, I remember days when I used to sound like like him exactly until I found myself along the way. So yeah, he's, he's, he's been that big brother in the industry and outside the industry. I remember uh, the first time I heard of Chef 187 was from the this song Slaptin, it's Colophone, Nimu Colopera and whatnot. Do you ever regret saying those lines from back in the day? Like getting involved in the beat? Ah, uh, well, uh, there's, people, there's a lot of people that know me from that song, but if you ask people on the Copper Belt, yeah. I think I was buzzing on the Copper Belt. Yeah, Copper Belt is always ahead way, of time. Yeah, yeah, like way before that. Yeah. Because I, I was in, at that time, uh, I was in the music industry for about uh, three to four years already. Oh, okay. Prior to that song. So, yeah, uh, yeah there's people that know me off of that song. Um, I don't regret. Uh, doing that song because it wasn't personal. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I I didn't even know what the, like the issue was at the time. <laughs> uh, so I don't regret anything because it wasn't personal. Yeah. If it was personal, I would have regretted, obviously. Yeah. yeah. All right. So he's celebrating his birthday. We don't know how old Maki Two is. How old is Maki Two? Maybe you can inform us. He's old enough. <laughs> Old enough to do what, though? <laughs> old enough to be the king of, of, of Zambia and Himba. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. And I also know that there's an issue of division and people always trying to make comparisons. I know the whole Coppola, XYZ or Lusaka is still around and people want to do that. Sorry? Coffee <laughs> Sorry? All right, okay, now you came through Mark 2, this song, the beef was hot between Mark 2 and Slap D. You jumped on the second verse and everyone was like, this guy is hot. Didn't you feel, you know, you were disadvantaging yourself to just start your career, start your career in inverted format in the beef, well, the existing beef between Max Two and Slav T? I wasn't thinking that far because uh, to me it was very easy to, to to jump on that song because I felt like I was I was representing my team. Uh, it's like someone someone had said something about my team and. Uh -huh. And I was I was being given a platform to say something about it. It came so out so personal, man. I, it came out so personal. <laughs> wow, I never... <laughs> Nothing personal? I never was thinking that far when, when, when jumping on that, on that particular verse. Mm -hmm. um, it was just something that... I wasn't even supposed to be on that song. Ah, he just told me to say, ah, can you do something on this part? I hesitated, then he was like, okay, it's okay. I was like, no, 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 no I can still do something. Mm -hmm. Then okay. that's how come I ended up even being on the song. Otherwise, initially, I wasn't even um, supposed to be on the song. Great. Do you think that the fact that you are Mark II's brother, young brother to be specific, actually helped you, helped to jumpstart your career as Chef 187? Um, or it disadvantaged you because people were then comparing you to Mark II? Uh, I would say both, because uh, 
being Makidu's brother has its pros and cons. Um, uh, sometimes it works to my advantage, sometimes it works to my disadvantage. Um, but I would say it's easy coming into an industry where you've got, you've got an elder brother who's already shining and who's already successful. Because uh, I had to look at his, I had to look at his mistakes and learn from them. I had to look at his flaws and strengths as well. So uh, for me, it was it was somewhat easy and difficult at the same time. So growing up, I always thought I was going to be a football player, and the things didn't work out as, as I thought they would. Along the way, I got into music. But I've been fortunate enough to have an elder brother who's into music. I've always looked up to him, so I think even though music is something that has always been in me, I think part of the reason why I took up music as a career, I think it was because of his influence. And your young brother too, Maki too. Now, how was that growing up for you? When your older brother was probably a superstar before you were, how was that growing up in the same home with Maki too? Mark has always been famous. Mm -hmm. Um, for different things. Mm -hmm. When we were very young, he was famous for, for art. He's very good at, at uh, okay. just drawing stuff. Mark was famous for that before he, he, he became famous because of music. Okay. So um, it's been a challenge trying to get out of that shadow. Mm -hmm. And up to this day, I still have uh, my own, own relatives mm -hmm. who call me by his name. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so it's it's that big of a challenge, and um, but I don't look at it as a, as as really a challenge. I look at it as a as a blessing because Mark is one of my my biggest mentors. Okay. Chefy.